everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning and today in this video i am going to discuss about canis method or which is also known as rotation contribution method and uh, this is going to be second type of question as it is a portal frame which is uh, unsymmetrically loaded and uh, it has non uniform flexural rigidity uh, and uh, the before while beginning the video our very first step is going to be uh, to find the fixed in moment and uh, for finding the fixed in moment there are some formulas which i have uh, uh, mentioned in the quiz problem which was based on beam uh, i will i have added the link in the description and you can get the formula from there so let's begin the video now students you need to remember one thing uh, that for finding the fixed in moment there must be some load on the span so as you can see this load on the span a and a b and span c d is missing means there is no load on this span so the fixed in moment uh, on the fixed in moment at in a and b for span a b will be zero and moment fixed in moment at point at in d and c for span c d will also be zero as there is no load on the these spans and we need to calculate the mo fixed in moment on span b c by using the formula for for moment at b it will be minus w a b square by l square and uh, for moment at point c it will be plus w a square b by l square now here i have calculated the fixed in moment uh, at different points with respect to the spans now uh, we come to our step 2 and in step 2 we will be finding the uh, rotation factor so let's let's get to know how to find the rotation factor now here we will be finding rotation factor and from here you will come to know how to find this k here k is relative stiffness now here i am going to show you how to find the k uh, there are two formulas for finding relative value of k first of all we need to consider the support what type of support we have if we consider the span b a then we need to see the support a our support a is fixed so our relative stiffness is going to be i by l and again now our second point second span is b c b c means this here it is nothing means it is uh, simply supported or simply we can say it is hinge support and if hinge support is at the center of the beam if it is at the center of the beam then it is going to be i by l okay and uh, if uh, and uh, we comes to our span cb and it is going to be same because here it, it is nothing means it is it is considered to be hinge support here it is nothing it means it is considered to be in support then here also it is going to be i by l as in support is in the center of the beam it is not here if uh, i will show you further uh, so it is also going to be i by l now we comes to our span cd this is our cd and uh, we will go we will see how what type of support we have at d d here it is also fixed so this is also going to be i by l now you need to know one thing if our support d were hinged then it will be it will be 3 by 4 i by l i have shown this in the question which was solved on the basis of beam so this is also going to be i by l further i will be putting this uh, relative stiffness value and then i will calculate further this summation k k by summation k and then relative rotation factor and uh, in rota while calculating rotation factor you simply need to multiply this k by summation k by minus 1 by 2 as a factor now here i have calculated the uh, rotation factor uh, step you it is it will be easy for you to understand uh, as you can see it clearly that i have solved each and every steps uh, step by step and uh, in easy method and now we are going to towards the step 3 now uh, here in step 3 what we need to do is, do is uh, we need to draw the joint B in this way and joint C in this way this is our joint A this is B this is C and this is D in this step 
I need to write the fixed in moment of each and every span separately and then I will be solving it further. So let's begin. Uh, the fixed in moment of MBC is minus 35.56 and uh, MCB is uh, plus 17.78 and the rotation factor for the span bc is minus 2 by 7 and for ba is minus 3 by 40 similarly for cb rotation factor for cb is minus 2 by 7 and uh, here the rotation factor for cd is minus 3 by 14 now uh, here the fixed in moment for ba is 0 and for cd is 0 and if we add these two what we will get minus 35.56 these two after adding these two we will get minus 35.56 similarly after adding these two number we will get plus 17.78 now I am going to show you step by step that uh, what we are going to do now uh, multiply this number by this number and uh, Put, write it here and multi again multiply this number by this number and write it here and uh, on multiplying this number by this number we will get plus 10.16 and again multiplying this number by this number we will get plus 7.62 and uh, now add this has plus sign and this has also plus sign so add these two number if if these two had a different sign then we will be subtracting but here the si signs uh, here this has plus sign this has plus and so add these two number and after adding the result is multiplied with this number and it is written here and again uh, the, the same result is multiplied with this number and it is written here let me show you see here we have 10.16 10.16 plus 17.78 into 2 by 7 here the answer is 7.98 and plus plus and minus it will become minus 7.98 again 10.16 plus 17.78 into 3 by 14 and again plus 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 and minus it is going to be minus 5.98 now the second step is second step is to add this number to this number and again multiply this by this and right here and again this add this number to this number multiply this by 2 by 7 and then write it here see uh, second step is 35.56 and uh, this minus minus plus so plus 7.98 into 2 by 7 it is going to be 12.44 positive 12.44 now again the second step is uh, 35.56 plus 7.98 into 3 by 14 it is going to be 9.33 positive now again add this number to this number and uh, the um, and multiply the result with this number write it here again add this number to this number multiply the, uh, uh, the multiply the result with this factor and write it here and uh, again the second the second factor is again multiplied here uh, added here and then again multiplied it now let me show you again second step 12.44 plus 17.78 into 2 by 7 it is 8.63 so it is going to be minus 8.63 again 12.44 plus 17.78 into 3 by 14 here comes uh, minus 6.47 now the step is same now add this number here multiply by this factor and write it here again the again multi write the add the third number here and multiply by this number and write it here now 
uh, I have calculated the final answer this is our final answer as you can see the last two digits ha are having the same value it means we have got uh, the answer this is our final answer now uh, we comes to our step 4 and step 4 we will be calculating the final moment for finding the final moment we will be using this formula final moment is equal to fixed in moment plus twice the moment of the near end plus moment of the farther end now uh, here for finding the final moment I have drawn the diagram like this we need to draw some, some similar type of diagram for finding the final in moment fixed in moment and now uh, I will be using the same formula this is our fixed in moment means I have got this fixed in moment now I will be adding here twice the near end uh, and the moment of the farther end so uh, for span BC the near end is B and uh, the final moment of BC is 12.64 so it is going to be plus 12.64 twice two times so here it will be plus 12.64 plus 12.64 now the moment of the I will be adding moment of the farther end for span BC farther end is C and here the moment is a minus 8.69 so I will be subtracting minus 8.69 and I will get the answer plus 18.97 similarly for joint C I will be adding the moment of the twice the moment of the near end the moment of the near end is minus 8.69 as you can see here minus 8.69 so add this number plus oh sorry minus 8.69 minus 8.69 and uh, I need to add the moment of the farther end farther end is B and the moment is plus 12.69 Six four add this number, you will get plus thirteen point uh, zero four. Now we come to our C. Uh, the moment at the fixed in moment is zero. Now I need to find the twice. Uh, I add twice the moment of the near end. Moment of the near end is uh, this minus six point five one. So add this twice, and it is going to be. It is going to be uh, plus sorry minus six point five one minus 6.51 and moment of the moment of the farther end moment of the far near farther end is d and here the moment at d is 0 0 so it will be 0 now the final answer will be 13.02 now uh, for span ba here the fixed in moment is 0 and the moment of the near end is uh, 9.48 so add twice 9.48 plus 9.48 and moment of the end in the farther end is 0 so add here 0 it will be plus 18.9696 now the moment is fixed the sorry end is fixed so uh, transfer half of the moment here so on transferring half of the moment here it will be minus 6.51 and this is going to be plus 9.5 for it and this is our answer and uh, we can simply represent it uh, the final answer uh, in a separate diagram like this see here you can draw a good diagram this is a b c d and the fixed in moment is here uh, minus 6.51 and uh, this is plus 13.04 and this is minus 13.02 and here this is minus 18.97 and uh, this is plus 18.96 and this is plus 9.48 and uh, this is our final answer uh, thanks for watching my video and uh, please do subscribe my channel uh, thank you further I will be adding uh, many videos related to civil engineering and thanks for watching this video again have a nice day and yes do not forget to share the video with your friends thank you